Salam to everybody. Uh, my name is Thila. I'm from Georgia. And right now we're um, in Georgia. Right now we're in a um, position like uh, like William Gibson uh, era, like low life, high tech. I mean, there's a lot of people who do high tech things, but uh, they live in a kind of um, buildings which are not so high tech. I mean, it's uh, minus high tech. So, um, I, I think I have the same problem right now. I'm sorry. Can I, okay. Okay, so um, we do a lot of projects with, with my friends and we have a few kind of spaces to meet and this is one of our spaces where we meet each other. This is a cemetery of uh, Peter and Paul and um, right now we're trying to um, uh, to connect one of our new devices uh, to the cemetery. So before I tell you why we're doing, uh, I want to show you what we're doing. Please can you uh, um, put the first video, Proshe. understand I mean we're working on uh, interactive tombstones to say uh, just uh, to say it simply so interactive tombstones equipped with uh, AI the sensors inside uh, it, ca it can recognize the people it can tell the stories and uh, kind of um, makes you this informational immortality so we want well, uh, at least we say to ourselves, we want to redesign our memorials, redesign uh, the deaths by redesigning our memorials. So uh, it's uh, the next topic will be why uh, the our the best our the best uh, uh, source to do is uh, to uh, capture this moment of I was here for the for the people because. Uh, Everybody, I mean, it's a human nature and it's a human uh, condition to somehow tell to another people that I was here. And this is one of the uh, ancient uh, paintings and I, I think it uh, shows us that. But uh, you know, this uh, afterlife design is not a new thing at all. If you just look at the pyramids, uh, you can find out that pyramids are just a huge gravestones and these gravestones are meant to tell the stories. I mean they used uh, the best modern technologies they had to make a tombstone and this tombstone is telling the story of the uh, king or the paraon or somebody else. So it's like kind of uh, life eternalized through the uh, architectural construction. And in now in this era of Mars colonization, artificial intelligence, uh, I don't know, cybernetics, science fiction, holograms, this is the hologram of Tupac performing at Coachella. Uh, our tombstones look like this. I mean, technology touches everything, but uh, it never touches the tombstones. And mm, the tombstones, the stones are really in the Stone Age. I mean, they don't tell the stories. And so many stories are lost and so many stories because we're not kings, we're not pharaohs, nobody built the mm, pyramids for us. All, all these stories, like, they're like, uh, yeah, lost in time, like tears in the rain. Yeah, so we want to preserve the stories. I think the, uh, every story is the meaningful story 
and even after the generations, you can talk to, to your grandchildren or to another people around you. And I think why technology doesn't touch the um, death because of two things. It's uh, I think it was the religion for because it was the domain of the religion, the death, the afterlife is the domain of the religion and somehow we have this culture of programming that we don't want to touch that. Second one is that we're kind of afraid of those things. We don't want to think that we're going to die, but I'm sorry to tell you we're all going to die someday. Uh, somebody's got to tell you. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, so, this territory is like mm, tabooed and uh, nobody's experimenting with the, those kind of things. And um, the hero journey, the real hero journey, the real techno magician journey begins where you enter the unknown territory. Where you enter the territory where you don't know how your journey will end. And if you find out, and just, just Google, you can find uh, like how much people want to talk to their uh, relatives or somebody or friends who is not alive. And uh, I think most of all, most of them are talking to them in their mind, but they don't have them, they don't have their voice, they don't have their presence in there. So that's what we want to build and what we want to do. We want to build this interactive headstone where you can preserve your voice, your memories, um, maybe uh, even uh, choose the messages for the ex exact people who will come to your uh, memorial. And it's not just a memorial, I mean, it will be the, uh, on a cloud too. So if somebody can't come to the memorial, he can talk to you after your death. Uh, online. So we started to, uh, building this one. This is, I don't know uh, if you know, this is the oldest um, uh, epitaph, one of the oldest epitaphs. Uh, it's called Seculus Epitaph and it's uh, really touching me because this guy, uh, this Seculo, lost his girlfriend and he make up um, on this tombstone. He wrote a text on the tombstone. He wrote a beautiful poem. It begins like this while you live, uh, shine, and then he add the musical notations on that. So uh, like uh, five or ten years ago, we could uh, kind of uh, read these notations, and now we have this beautiful piece of music written 2,000 uh, years ago uh, when one guy lost the, his beloved one, and if he had a technology, he could put that music uh, on the uh, on the gravestone. So what we want to do, we want to revive this oldest old Greek uh, tombstone and make Seculos epitaph uh, like uh, interactive. So uh, this was like uh, two weeks ago, I think. We took Epitaph to the uh, cemetery, and you see uh, behind that is just a regular um, Georgian cemeteries. You have just the photo and no information about the person. And this is uh, our one. And um, uh, please, uh, can you just call the second video? So it was just a piece when you approach uh, when you approach the tombstone, it recognizes uh, the, that the person approaches and it shines out and can deliver any message. In this case, it delivers this oldest song to any any person who will approach uh, the tombstone. But um, you can choose. I mean, you can choose even the faces. Uh, you can choose the options. Uh, you can choose the option, if anybody approaches me, tell this, 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 this. If uh, somebody approaches me, if, if Anna approaches me, uh, Sarah approaches me, tell the specific messages to them. And um, then you can even interact to uh, Tombstone. And all this idea is 
about this? I mean, what kind of messages do you want to leave when you gonna leave? And what do you want to tell to the world? And it will be interesting to the anthropologists and social sociologists too, because uh, just imagine if you have a chance to hear the voice of your grand grand mother or grand grandfather and see what he's talking about, what she's talking about, why she's talking about these topics and not that topics, which is more interesting for you maybe or or not and how the culture is changing and so on. And this is our, uh, our motto, how you want to be remembered. And as for me, um, when I die, I'll ask you to do like something like this. Born in the slums of prison earth, died in the fields of free Mars. I hope I will die on Mars. Thank you so much. <laughs>